Hello officers, Garbia, welcome to Friday. Well, it's going to be a very intense weekend. We've got a full moon in Pisces, which means emotions are up to 10 on the dial. The topic of your emotions, your inner child. Big setup for a temper tantrum this weekend from the Scorpios because your inner child is going to be fully empowered. It's going to want to play. It's going to want to do its thing. It's going to want to be romantic. And it may find that things in society are holding it back. Why do I say that? Well, a full moon is, of course, is an opposition, a tug of war between the moon and the sun. That's really what's going on. A tug of war between our emotions and where our focus of our awareness is. So literally, if you find yourself wanting to play, wanting to do things, and being held up from society, the issue is your relationship to society, represented by the sun and Virgo. That's what the big transformation is this month. A full moon helps us release. We release to the full moon what we're stubborn about. In your case, you're stubborn around issues of what you think you're supposed to be in society or what you think society is making you out to be. You're in full control of what you are in society and it's time to take control and release your stubborn attitudes around what you thought it was. Also tomorrow things get even more intense. That full moon crosses Uranus. Breakdown, breakthrough energy. Total test of faith on Saturday that you will in fact have what your inner child wants. But again, this time Uranus opposing Saturn. Very intense transit. Same result. Take responsibility, Saturn, for your place in society if you want your inner child to be free and for you to have your personal dreams come true. So all the work is in society, all the emotion is in inner child. Now we do have two, count them, two practitioners to help you through this very intense, really year-changing full moon. The first is Feng Shui Friday. That's right, Ariel Joseph Town is going to help you reorganize your space and that reorganization of your space will give clarity and give you the ability to release what's necessary in old attitudes when it comes to you and society and certain friends. And also, we have Kristen Ryder, the full moon goddess, who will focus specifically on how to release using the full moon. She's fantastic at it. She's quite childlike, so I think you'll really identify with her this given month. All right, Scorpio, that's all I have for the weekend forecast. Good luck with the full moon, and I'll see you on Monday. Live, love, be. So